Welcome to Eternal Easy Education. In this session, you are going to learn Chapter 16, Electronic Payment System. Content of this video is, what is electronic account transfer? Under this EAT, you are going to learn what is electronic clearing service, what is electronic fund transfer, what is real-time gross settlement system. Apart from card-based payment system, so in the previous video, you learned what is card-based payment system, what is debit card, what is credit card, what is stored value card, and what about smart card. So you learned these details. So apart from this, there are many alternative systems to pay the amount. So the electronic clearing service electronic funds transfer, real-time gross settlement system. So these are all coming under electronic payment system. Let me see one by one. What is electronic clearing service? Electronic clearing service can be defined as the repeated transfer of funds from one bank account to multiple bank accounts. I'll again repeat, electronic clearing service can be defined as repeated transfer of funds from one bank account to multiple bank accounts or vice versa. That means in opposite, multiple bank accounts to one bank account using computer and internet technology. So, this is the two more question for ECS. The payer instructs the bank to debit from his bank account and credit it to one or more payee bank account provided amounts and dates of payment earlier. That means one bank account is going to pay to multiple bank accounts. This provides the convenience of paperless payment. So first one is paperless payment. Next, it can be scheduled earlier. Advantage of this system are bulk payments. So first advantage is bulk payment can be done guaranteed payment because as it is scheduled earlier and it is guaranteed and no need to remember payment dates yes as the dates are predefined no need to remember the date it can be used by institutions for making payments such as dispersing of salary so the real time example is payment of salary or pension or dividend interest among the shareholders. So these real-time tasks are done by electronic clearing service. Similarly, individual bank customer can also make small value repetitive payments such EMI. So the EMI also coming under this category. So have you understood what is electronic clearing service? It's a repeated transfer of funds from one bank account to multiple bank accounts or vice versa. So real-time example is payment of salary, pension, even EMI of a customer. So EMI of a loan, electricity bills, telephone bills, insurance premium, everything is coming under this category. So ACS can be used for both credit and debit purpose. So credit and debit purpose are handled by ECS, electronic clearing service, for making bulk payments or bulk collections of amounts. ECS credit. So they want to explain what is the ECS credit. ECS credit is used for making bulk payment of amounts. In this mode, a single account is debited and multiple accounts are credited. So underline this. 
a single account is debited and multiple accounts are credited multiple accounts are credited is yes credit this type of transactions are push transactions the example is if a company has to pay salary to its 100 employees so ecs credit because salary is credited you can have an idea like this so every time we'll ask whether the salary is credited or not so a company giving salary to 100 employee or more than that is coming under ecs credit then what is ecs debit ECS debit is an inverse of ECS credit. So it is used for bulk collection of amount. In this mode, multiple accounts are debited. Multiple accounts are debited and then single uh, and then a single account is credited. This type of transactions are pull transaction. Insurance premium of bulk number of customers is debited for customers' bank account on their period consent and paid to insurance company. So this is an example for ACS debit. Is it clear, children? Electronic clearing service. Repeated fund transfer from single to multiple account or vice versa easy to learn then what is electronic fund transfer electronic funds transfer EFT is an electronic transfer of money over an online network the amount sent from one center's bank is credited bank um, sorry center's bank branch is credited to receiver's bank branch on the same day so it's an electronic transfer of money over an online network. The amount of the amount from the center bank is credited to the receiver's bank on the same day. Unlike traditional process, EFT saves the effort of sending a demand draft through post and inherent delay in reaching the money to the receiver. Banks may charge commission for using this service. EFT is a widely used method of for moving funds from one account to another account. So EFT is a widely used method to transfer fund from one account to another. This is a business to business method model. I don't know whether you know what is demand draft or not. Uh, you very well know about check is children so check is a um, check leaf is given by a person uh, the person who is giving the check leaf must have an account with the amount so uh, amount is given in the check you have to go and clear the check and we can ask the um, person to clear the check and give you as a cash or you can make the check amount to be paid in your account uh, the check sometimes you may heard the word the check bounce that means check is there but the person who has given the check is not having that much of amount but demand draft is different demand draft is uh, amount should be uh, the particular amount should be paid and the demand draft is the same person who is having the account is going to give the demand draft but the demand draft is given only getting the amount. So, demand draft is a secure thing to uh, get the amount. So, if it is a businessman, instead of uh, receiving the check, they want, check means they can give, uh, so today they can give the check, but the date will be of next week. That uh, facility is there in the check, but the disadvantage is the check may bounce but demand draft is the thing the person has to pay the amount and get the demand draft on the person who has who he has to give the amount so it's a secure thing so most probably many places like the institutions or uh, any other 
important places they won't collect the amount they ask you to produce a demand draft and send the demand draft so the demand draft is given to the person and the, the demand draft is given to the uh, bank and the bank will check for it and clear it it may take uh, two to three days but they will collect commission for that while taking the demand draft also we have to give commission to the particular bank so this is the traditional process but nowadays we are not doing anything um we easily transferring the amount from our account to that person account through the internet banking so the electronic fund transfer is coming under the internet banking then what is real time gross settlement real time gross settlement system rtgs is a payment system particularly used for the settlement of transaction between financial institution especially banks so the rtgs is mainly between the banks as name indicates rtgs transactions are processed at real time rtgs payments are also called a push payment and they are initiated by the payer rtgs payments are generally large value payments and high volume transactions then unconditional uh, that means uh, the real time gross settlement transactions are unconditional that means the beneficiary will receive funds regardless of whether he fulfill his obligation to the buyer or whether he could deliver the goods or perform a service of a quality consistent with the order that means if a business is going to pay amount for another person or another business person the amount is transferred without any conditions then in revocable irrevocable the currently processed transaction cannot be reversed and the money cannot be get refunded so as it is a large amount it must be taken care because it is not refundable so these things are coming under rtgs then what is electronic wallet electronic wallet um the person who are using paytm uh, the amazon payment uh, may know this electronic wallet what is that means it's like the e wallet that means the electronic purse allow user to make electronic transactions quickly and securely over the internet through smartphones or computers paytm or amazon will have a uh, option as electronic wallet there they can transfer their amount from the bank and keep it in the electronic wallet uh, that means the amazon is holding the amount from the wallet we can pay for a thing what we are purchasing in the amazon so the electronic wallet functions almost the same as physical wallet in term that it holds our money so electronic wallets were first recognized as method for storing money in electronic form became popular because it provides a convenient way for online shopping sometimes they will give even cashback offer if you pay from the amazon wallet or paytm wallet so instead of uh, transferring every time from the bank to the particular thing we can uh, take a thousand or two thousand amount from the bank and keep it in the electronic wallet so whenever we purchase a thing in paytm or amazon we can take from the wallet itself instead of going to the bank through the internet also while the development of advanced internet the use of electronic wallet turned out as a efficient transaction tool this is evidenced by the many e-commerce websites that use electronic wallets yes the e-commerce website means the paytm or the amazon who are using this electronic wallet as transaction tool there are several electronic wallet services that now widely used uh, paypal sbi so these things are another electronic wallets
EFT electronic fund transfer is known by the num known by a number of names across countries in India it is called as NEFT um, I don't know whether you have done a, a internet banking if you have done means you may cross this word or else hereafter uh, check for it that means while you proceed an online transaction through the internet banking it will ask for the option whether it is NEFT or RTGS that means whether you are going through this uh, procedure or RTG or GTS procedure that means this real time um, real time gross settlement there will be two options in the internet banking most most probably the uh, normal persons will not use this um, RGT they will prefer only this uh, EFT because the amount is very less but if it is a company side they may use the RGTS so this uh, national electronic fund transfer in United States uh, they may refer to as electronic checks or e-check the term is different in US this NEFT is electronic fund transfer system initiated by RBI. So we are using this in the internet banking. It is established and maintained by the Institute for Development and Research in Banking Technology, IDRBT. The NEFT enables the bank customer to transfer funds between any two NEFT enabled bank accounts as a one-to-one -one basis it is done via electronic messages unlike RTGS fund transfer through the NEFT do not occur in real-time basis so you have learned the three cadres of electronic account transfer EA under this EAT, you should know what is electronic clearing service, repeated transfer from one to multiple account or multiple to one account. EFT, internet banking, electronic fund transfer. Then real-time settlement, it's a large amount on bulk transfer between financial institutes. Uh, that's all for this session, children. Thank you. Have a good day.